Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this episode, we are going to talk about spawning bees. It's a little easier than you think, and it only requires a few things. So, let's have at it! All right, guys, to get bees in your um, spawn, in your seed, if you can't find them, uh, a lot of times they're some of the hardest things to find. Um, we did, we couldn't find any, so we came up with this after watching a few other YouTube channels. Um, there is like a less than a 5% chance of this happening. So what you need is some oak saplings and some, uh, what we use is dandelions are pretty much everywhere. If you go ahead and you put down a um, sapling and put a flower um, anywhere around it, basically, um, any side of the uh, sapling, um, you have a 5% chance of getting a uh, uh, beehive to sp um, spawn. Um, so I'll show you kind of what we have. And we had a bunch of them spawn in because we put a bunch of trees up. But this is what it's going to kind of look like. Um, a lot of times we've had success by putting it on the this uh, on, I think, the side that goes um, where, where the sun rises. I don't remember what side that is um but we have had it work all over so what happens is they will spawn in um like this um and so what we have up here is we have um a bunch of bee farms now um we had two spawn in um right away and we added a third one over here um and each one of these was put in with a danny lion on the um right hand side looking towards where the sun comes up and then we have the third one over here, which came out on that exact side too as well. Um, and then what we did is we went ahead and created our whole little area over here. Um, and then we just started breeding them. So um, yeah, so let's talk about that when we get back. All right, so if you're new to our channel, you know how much we love our bees. And bees are really important for us now that we have like a lot of new blocks, right? I think a lot of the newer blocks like um, the uh, uh, copper blocks, um, being able to set those so that um, they uh, don't turn green or whatever that's called, right, um, really helps out. So one of the things that you can do is um, make yourself a bee farm and then uh, you want to make sure that all of your little hives now have fire underneath them so that you can go ahead and you can take your shears and um, go ahead and harvest all the honeycomb. Um, we've done a lot of that. And we'll kind of go through and I'll, I'll kind of show you what we like to do with our honey, our, our uh, blocks and why it's important to have a bee farm. Um, first off, it's a good source of sugar, you know, or, or, or stuff you can make. The blocks actually look pretty awesome when you make the honeycomb blocks. Um, but in our village, we've created a lot of new stuff. So again, we, we just kind of keep adding to it. But um, we like the bees. I think they're kind of the cutest uh, creature in, in um, uh, Minecraft. Um, I think llamas are kind of cute too and overrated, but you can do things like this. So we have a, um, a copper block here that we don't want to turn any uh, more of a pan pantina look, I guess. You could basically do what we did here is you take your honeycomb and you can actually wax it um, and then it won't turn any other color than that. So part of that is we've been building into the woods and stuff and see, so here you can see our loggers hut um, and we, we, we're going to go ahead and keep all our flowers, seeds and stuff in here that, you know, uh, you would normally see in a, a log cabin or a logger taken care of. Um, so that's one of the updates that we've done. Um, but let's go take a look at some of the other copper stuff that we've done in here that we've been using some of this wax and stuff for. So as we come over to our main area and our tower, our in tower, we, we have all these right here. We've went ahead and um, waxed all these so they don't change. We had let one change to kind of show some weathering. And then over here um, in the main entrance, you'll probably remember um, we did all that. And we waxed all these just to kind of give a nice little pantene look to, to some of this. Um, and uh, being able to get bees without actually going and looking for them, I mean, they could be really far away. So we did find some bees, but they were um, like uh, 2,000 um, blocks away, and we couldn't get them here. Every time we would we would do it, we'd fall in water, they would fly off, or our, our leads would break. We, we just couldn't get them to follow us. Um, so this is one of the things that we, we've kind of added a lot of copper to it, and we want to wax it down and just make it look kind of stay the same. With that being said, let's give you a little update on some of the other things we're working on. Um, and then we'll be doing some more videos here shortly as well. So we went ahead and cleared out 
a lot of this area over here. We went ahead and planted a lot of trees. We're going to go ahead and farm all those trees out and start building up. Uh, we Here we have um, a uh, kind of like a horse stable. Um, and in this horse stable, we have a little section up here. We don't know what we're going to do with yet, but we kind of built an upstairs um, to it. Uh, that we can come in here. We'll probably end up just making that into some kind of like shearing room or something like that. That'd be kind of cool. Um, and then down here we have um, some doors to get in. We have a couple of horses and some llamas in there. Um, we have some sheep and stuff in here as well for now. Um, and again, it's just something that we're gonna kind of continue doing is building out and making new new um, buildings as we go. Over here is one of Connor's favorite things. Um, this is kind of our blacksmith and mine shop. So our mine goes down in there. This is our main mine that we would go down. Um, and then what we have is um, we're going to move our uh, super smelter over here, um, our simple smelter. And then what we he wanted to make a wall. So we made this wall just out of a bunch of furnaces. It's pretty cool. And then we can just basically uh, keep some supplies in here. So we keep finding clay. It's kind of neat because we really want to build with some clay. But if we go into this building, Again, the back side, we're going to put signs on here of what stuff is in each one. Um, and then we can go back here. We're going to put a little lava pit right here. And then we can put hit the uh, home and bed and stuff in here. And we're going to go ahead and put a bunch of stuff in here, like supplies, stuff that needs to be smelted kind of thing. So that would be kind of cool. And then, again, it's just kind of a little nice little building. And then here we go. We have some more copper up there. Now look at it. We did not wax any of this copper. Um, so for the most part, as um it gets um uh in the in here longer and longer it's gonna go ahead and start um uh starting to get some pantene on it change color so a lot of zombies out here today interesting so but again that's kind of our goal is to just kind of build upward and out so we can just kind of keep going um and just doing exactly what we want so let's go up here and show you how kind of we can just wax a few things It'd be kind of easy just to kind of go show that. So we'll go up here. You just basically take your honeycomb and you just right click on them and you'll see that little thing. And then boom, they're waxed. These ones, these two that I just waxed will not change color. The rest of them will. So we'll come back later, maybe with some honeycomb, maybe have to break them and then just redo that again. So guys, if you guys have any questions or you guys want us to build something, um, Connor and I are kind of looking into wanting to do different things um, and add to our um, our both of our Let's Play series and our Let's Build series. Um, and we really do want to uh, have some um, viewer participation. So we really want to hear from you guys what you would like to see built um, in our Castle Kingdom one. Uh, we're taking that kind of slow. We're building a lot offline so we can give more of a tour. And then what we're going to do is try to build some churches and, and um, just really build the castle up and make it kind of awesome to see. So that, that way there's something viewable when we go in there. So again, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, please comment, like, share. Um, we don't have a lot of subscribers and we really want to build our base so that we can get some more viewer participation. All right, guys, thank you for watching.